for every believer. There are two emotions that we need to guard our hearts from. And these two destructive emotions are bitterness and anger. And if left to fester and develop in the heart, these two emotions can cause division among believers. These are the emotions that can break relationships and can seriously hinder a person's fate. Hebrews 12, 15 says, See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God, and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. The different translation says, Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness rose up to trouble you, corrupting many. Notice that this verse doesn't even warn us to be cautious of bitterness itself. It pleads with us to be cautious of the root of this bitterness. Paul was careful and intentional in his use of this analogy. Let's consider the life of a plant. Usually, we can't see a seed after it's been put into the ground, nor can we see its roots. But we do see the fruit, and we do see the flowers once they pierce the earth and come above ground. Much like bitterness, the root of a plant is not visible to the naked eye. We may only be aware that a seed was planted when we see the fruit. Paul knew that bitterness was so destructive that it needed to be uprooted. As soon as the seed germinated, he didn't warn the Hebrews to dispose of the fruit of bitterness. Oh no. He knew that when you see the fruit of bitterness, oh, it's much too late. Then you see, if we wait for bitterness to be visible above ground, we risk being a threat to others. This is why the Bible says, see to it that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and by it many become defined. This means that before bitterness even gets to the surface, we should eradicate it. Now here's what the Bible says about anger. James 1 verses 19 through 20. Understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let everyone be quick to hear. Be a careful, thoughtful listener. Slow to speak. The speaker of carefully chosen words. And slow to anger. Patient reflective. Forgiving for the resentful. Deep-seated anger of a man. Does not produce the righteousness of God. That standard of behavior which he requires from us. The Bible doesn't tell us not to be angry. It tells us not to sin by letting anger control you. This is because anger can be like a wildfire. It leaves behind destruction and ruin. Anger and bitterness are strong emotions, and they're emotions that we, as children of God, should be guarded against. We need to pray for the Lord to purge our hearts. Only God can make us pure. Only through the power of the Holy Ghost can we have true self-control. Now with all this in mind, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, please help us to control our emotions. Lord, let us be slow to anger and help us to become more and more like you so that we can be forgiving, so that we can show others mercy so that we can extend grace to others. God your word in Colossians 3, verse 13 says, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Give us hearts that are quick to forgive Lord. Give us hearts that make allowance for each other's faults. Father, give us hearts that don't hold on to offense but rather as much as it depends on us. May we live in peace with all. Dear Lord, we're asking you to remove any bitterness from our hearts. Free us from all feelings of resentment. And King Jesus, heal us from any pain. Heal us from any circumstances that can result in us becoming bitter. Lord, there are people listening that need to be healed from the pain of rejection. And so we ask you to touch them, Father. 
There are those who have been betrayed and abandoned. May you heal their hearts, so that they'll know you as a friend. That sticks closer than a brother. Father, for every lonely heart, for every person that has been abandoned, or felt isolated, please melt away any anger that's in their hearts. Melt away every root of bitterness, and prevent it from growing. Master instead, give us hearts that burn with the love of God, hearts that seek to serve all for your glory, hearts that are not only willing to show mercy, but that are able to show mercy and forgive all of those who have wronged us. Give us the grace to move on, Father. Give us the grace to let go of the wounds of the past. Give us the strength to forgive and to let go of everyone who's ever hurt us or persecuted us. God help us to be obedient to your word. As it says in Ephesians 4, verses 31 and 32, get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ. God forgave you. Lord Jesus, give us hearts that are willing to obey you. Hearts that strive to walk in obedience to your will and to your ways. God, let us never be inclined to do things our own way, but rather, May we seek first wisdom and counsel from you, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would give us a teachable spirit. Give us a humble spirit. A spirit that is patient and not self-serving. Lord, teach us to love the way you loved. To show compassion to all. Just like you did, Lord Jesus. Help us to show mercy to all who have wronged us. Father, I thank you for hearing this prayer. I thank you for your love. And I thank you for your mercy. God be glorified, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen.